yeah! yeah! Hello everyone and welcome back to Hell Yeah Gaming, where we are now officially going to determine whether or not we will push the button! <laughs> This is going to work similar to the Would You Rather, where one of us will debate, regardless as to our actual feelings, for, and one of us will debate, regardless of our actual feelings, not. And then we'll just tell what our actual feelings are and decide if we're going to actually push it or not at the end. And I want you, our lovely viewers, to leave a comment for each one of these questions saying if you would or would not push the button yourself. So we're going to go ahead and start us off here. Uh, all right, so I think we can alternate who vo uh, who argues for for and who argues for against. Okay. I haven't read I haven't read this one on screen yet. So, uh, you have you read the the one on screen yet? Yep. Okay. So since I haven't read it, I will coin toss in my head. All right, you argue for and I will argue against. All right. Okay. You gain incredible superhuman speed, but you're still affl affected normally by friction. Oh, that's... Ooh, oh, yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. For superhuman speed, what do you got? <sighs> okay. If you're careful about this, you can get you can get around faster. No, no one says you have to use the top speed. You just have superhuman speed. So you can go a little faster than normal and you can get things a lot, done a little bit faster than you, so long as you, so long as you're kind of keeping that friction thing in mind and cho choosing the materials you wear and, uh, and just being careful about it. This is actually fun power to have. <laughs> okay. Well, on the other end of things, people are, are emotional animals. You're not going to constantly be thinking about that all the time. You, you can easily slip up and then suddenly, oh no. My arm's on fire because of air friction against the oxygen. Or, oh no, I literally destroyed my shoes and now I've lost half an inch of flesh off the bottom of my feet. This is not something that you're just going to constantly be aware of at all times. Actually, if you if you have it, I, I think after the first time or two, you're going to learn really, really quickly what your limits are. So... Unless the first time is your last time, <laughs> I think. I think uh, when when you when you're looking down, you see that. Why are my pants on fire? That that's a good time to stop. <laughs> I think if you're looking down and saying, "Why are my pants on fire?" <laughs> you're already on fire and need to go to the hospital. Honestly, on that first time when you realize you you can go fast. You're going to feel warm a lot faster, which means, and most people, I would, I would think, would be smart enough to to stop and go, "Whoa, I'm heating up, man. This is this this isn't a good thing. This is this is my limit." <laughs> okay, here's my counter to that: sweaty crotch. <laughs> you will have sweaty crotch all the time, even if you're just using it in the in the minor amount that you were talking about before. Where there you... are products for that. What I'm made of money. <laughs> oh, you'll you'll just have to you just have to budget a little better to account for it, and that's that's another reason why that you know being careful about what you do is fine. If I can't use my superpowers, then what is the whole point of even having them? There is no reason to push that button because you are going to accidentally kill yourself or someone else at, at the first flare up of your temper or the first time that you're crying and want to run from a situation or the first time that you're so elated and excited and you just want to run around because it's just so overwhelming but oh my god i'm dying okay fair point <laughs> <laughs> honestly yeah this 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 is not one where i would not push this button i i would not push this button it's and that is really hard for me to say considering my superhero envy that i have I have had for as long as I can remember. I would not push this button for the reasons that I said. Well, and honestly, I saw I saw the you're still affected by normal, normally by friction. I'm like, yeah, uh, hell no. Mm, <laughs> that's some chafing you do not want. No, 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 no. Anyone who knows anything about science knows that is a very bad idea. All right. 
So we have 63% would push the button, 37% would not push the button. 63% want to live like for like five seconds and die. That's, that's basically, unless unless you have something like the Flash where you have the speed force that just cancels out physics for you, then it's, it's a dumb, dumb decision. Yeah, exactly. All right. We'll flip-flop, and now I argue for, and you argue against. Alrighty. You can see through clothes, walls, etc. Okay, so x-ray vision. But you see through things too strongly, focusing deeper than you want. Alright, so you get x-ray vision, but it's always a little stronger than you want your x-ray vision to be. Okay, easy fix. Always look at the layer above what you actually want to look at. Done. Fixed. Mic drop. <laughs> Boom. Logic bombed. I'm out. Okay. If you're if if you're always if you're always focusing, that's gonna get really awkward in public really fast. And what if there isn't another layer? So you know, <laughs> you're past my girl, and she's only wearing a shirt and nothing else underneath. And next thing you know, you're looking at her boobs, and she knows you're looking at your boobs, and <laughs> that's a situation you just do not want, dude. <laughs> Okay, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? There's not another layer. What are you talking about there? Because there's always another layer. Okay, I mean, there's like eight layers of skin. Just just to throw that out there. I mean, okay. First of all, first of all, okay, okay. Technically, not first of all. I already. Talked. <laughs> if you're using this power to look at people naked without their consent. You are a horrible, creepy person, and you should not have this power. So, you know, hey, guess what? If that's how you're using it, then yes, don't push the button. But if you are a responsible person who treats other people like they're actual living things with rights, then you know what? Clearly, that's not a problem, is it? Well, you see things too strongly and focusing deeper than what you want. That focus is always going to be there. So whether or not you intend to... Accidents are going to happen. And that is something you're just going to have to, that is, that is awkwardness. Whether it's a person, whether you are, you know, you're looking at a window. Okay. Um, the window itself may not, may not exist because of this vision, but like everything beyond that window, you're going to see another layer to it. So layers of paint, you're going to, I mean, that, that, um, layers of paint, you're going to see skeletal structures of things. You're going to mm, see. Sounds cool to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Any, uh, anything else to add? No. Okay. All right. Real talk. Honestly, there's like there's like so many really good. It was like really hard to argue for this one. Honestly, there's I, there's there's so many good um things you could do. Like you don't need an X-ray machine. That will save like a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of Absolutely. time trouble. That will um limit like like if several people had this in the medical field, like dude, mm -hmm. radiation gone. No Absolutely. more. No more of that. <laughs> oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I think we're, we're both actually pretty firmly on the push the button side yeah, of this. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, 52% said yes, 48 said no. It's way closer than the last one where you will kill yourself. <laughs> People. Okay, I understand that on the, on the superpower tier list, Super speed is like way higher up above than X-ray vision. Oh, I, yeah. I get that. But we're comparing super speed that is guaranteed to kill you versus <laughs> X-ray vision that, oh no, there's just a minor inconvenience attached. Yeah. Come on. All right. Flip flop it. You argue for and me against. Go ahead and read it off. You'll meet the love of your life, but you will never be together. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually pretty easy for me. <laughs> oh, it, oh, really? <laughs> huh. Well, you're never going to be together in a romantic sense. That doesn't mean they can't be your best friend. That's cheap. <laughs> that is. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? You know what? Okay, do you have anything else to add? Is that just your whole <laughs> argument right there? Oh, well, it really depends on how bad you see this, because honestly, I don't see a downside. <laughs> hmm. go, go ahead. Okay, okay, you know what? Let me, 
as as the non asexual in this room, <laughs> let me chime in on why this is a horrible, horrible thing. Okay? So, you meet the love of your life. That is amazing. I mean, it really is. You can never be together. Okay? So, sure, say that you are best friends. That's cool. That's cool. In fact, you know what? You can even be happy for that person, for whoever they did find. Yeah. And and that that's a wonderful thing for you to be, too. But they are the love of your life. This isn't saying that there's multiple people out there that can be the love of your life if you work with them at it. This is, they are, bar none, the love of your life. Meaning that no one else can ever measure up. No one else can ever give you the same satisfaction. So even if you are t intensely, madly in love with someone else that you can be with, it still will feel hollow compared to what you know you would have with that person and that feeling counterpoint crush you all right counterpoint this is a very vague one so the love of your life most people are going to think oh my romantic partner well what if you know you, you can feel love for all kinds of things so what if it's like you know like like, like a child a parent who loves their their kid the child is the, the, the light and their love of their life well that i i would argue is actually even more painful <laughs> then you then you can never be with your child oh i know yeah Exactly. So that's that's a that's a point in in my favor. That Thank actually you. is. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if I could never be with Maverick, oh my God, I would. That would be the worst thing ever. Nothing could ever be. That would be the worst if I could not be with Maverick. So I guess this. I guess this one's very. How are you interpreting the love of your life thing? Well, the way I'm interpreting it is, I win. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Uh, I could take this or leave this. Yeah, same. It's, uh, it, it, it is very vague. There's a lot you'd need to extract from it. Uh, I could take it or leave it either way. I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm with a wonderful, fantastic woman that I love very much. Uh, you have many people in your life that you love on a platonic level. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> but we'll, we'll go ahead and, and yeah. not. Oh, that was a, that's a landslide. 70, 76% will not push that button. Yeah, probably because they're thinking, oh my God, my love, give yeah. me. No. You know what? Additional point. Hmm. Don't be Snape. Exactly. <laughs> I, I love him as a character, but really he's a jerk. He's a horrible, horrible person. <laughs> All right, next up. Okay. Scarlett Johansson falls in love with you, but you can't taste bacon anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna, I, I have to argue for pushing the button on this one. So, before we get into the arguments, I want to go ahead and say right up, whoever made this, this is dumb. <laughs> Yeah, they, this they, is this is they're they're completely unrelated things, but you know what? I'm going to I'm going to argue it as we have the facts presented to us. Uh, all right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be great because you're like 90% vegetarian and don't yeah. like bacon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, Scarlett Johansson. But I, I have to, I have, are you, I'm arguing against, right? No, I'm ar uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. arguing against. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> okay. So Scarlett Johansson Amazing actress, super talented, very wealthy, and of course, I'm sure, as anybody with eyes can tell you, extremely attractive. She falls in love with you. Okay, so first off, she fell in love with you. That that has got to be a huge ego boost. Look at look at the confidence you are gonna carry. When Scarlett Johansson falls in love with you, you could walk around as the boss of the world. Like, wow. She left her husband for you? Damn, son. 
And for what? For the literal trash of pig? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bacon. I love you very much, but I have to. I have to... For the thing that... For the most unhealthy part of an already unhealthy meat? For something that under ideal circumstances is still 40% straight fat for something that I mean honestly there's so many bacon substitutes that you can't even tell the difference about that who even cares anymore why Scarlett Johansson alright well she falls in love with you but who was the you in this equation? Because there are several people who, you know, for many reasons... I mean you. You are you. Well, <laughs> okay, so what about somebody who's, like, say, gay? <laughs> that could be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, so... Not if they're a woman. This, this is fair. Okay, so so if, he, if he's a gay man, <laughs> okay. that would be a problem. All right. Point in case is, she's falling in love with you. You may not reciprocate. The other thing is, people... People grow, people change. This is not a guaranteed constant. She's in love with you now, but will she still be in love with you, you know, five years from now? <laughs> but and for and for that, okay, this is a, this is a food that you absolutely love. That is always going to be constant. You, you, hey, people's taste buds change. They do, but dude, I may not I, I may not eat bacon, but I know bacon lovers. There, there's like nothing they love more than bacon. <laughs> I mean, it's, they, it's they, they put amazing. it in their desserts, okay? That is how much they love bacon. Are you talking about the bacon milkshake that I drank? <laughs> bacon milkshakes, bacon coffee great. cakes, bacon cupcakes with, with a little bacon, bacon spread. Dude, it's, it's in everything. Bacon donut. And it's, and it's around you. You're going to smell that. You're going to create, and you can't taste, I mean, it's, it says you can't taste it anymore. It doesn't say you can't smell it, and it doesn't say you can't crave it. So you're going to give up a guaranteed constant for something that may not last. Okay counterpoint to everything you said about Scarlett Johansson. Okay. So you don't reciprocate. You don't know if it's going to last. Guess what? Doesn't matter. She loves you right now. You got yourself a sugar mama for however long that lasts. Girl is loaded. And she's gonna take care of you. So what if you don't reciprocate? She's going to try to earn that reciprocation. And you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to call it on yeah. the, here. Uh, this one is a lot of fun to debate purely for how stupid it is. <laughs> I don't even I don't even care which one we pre we do. Nah. Yeah, so okay. This is dumb. <laughs> this is 43% no, 57% yes. A little bit more even the other ones. A little more even, but who cares? It's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we will go ahead and leave off this episode with this question. You can travel to any planet you want to go to at any time at the speed of light, which honestly on a spa space scale is extremely slow, but you will never meet the love of your life. Okay. Oh no. I'm pushing Whatever it. will I do? I'm pushing it. <laughs> do no, it. Okay. No, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving it on <laughs> here. All right. I want all of you to comment. Would you push this button? To travel in space at the speed of light, but never meet the love of your life? Is that is that worth it? Is that too much to ask? So, go ahead and leave a comment there on your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If this was entertaining or funny to you in any way, please drop a like. And if you want to see more of it, you know, subscribe and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, man. Yeah, as always, I want you all to have a fantastic day. And of course, hell, hell yeah! yeah.